Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Today, I will discuss how the AMC shorts must be closed upon conversion, as well as how they will attempt to mitigate any significant price increases by simultaneously shorting the newly created shares and closing the old shorts. However, they will encounter a plethora of obstacles in doing so. Therefore, remain tuned and let's earn some cash. If there's no likelihood of an AMC squeeze, then why are they here every day pleading with us to sell our AMC shares? He stated, why are the investors filing lawsuit after lawsuit against AMC if they are not in trouble? Why are they still begging you to sell shares and attempting to persuade you that AMC will not squeeze if they tease you daily about losing money, becoming bag holders, and being terrible investors? Now, someone could tweet that the reverse split is such a complicated procedure that shorts will adjust or close their positions. And he stated that both Ape and AMC will receive a new QZIP number and transform into an entirely different security than the one that was initially shorted. We also have evidence that AMC is becoming an entirely new security system due to the new QZIP number, as all AMC options are also changing. Ant becomes AMC1, AMC becomes AMC1 and 2, AMC becomes AMC2. All of these AMC and chimpanzee options, both new and old, will change on the conversion and reverse split date because AMC is transforming into an entirely new security. Now, we know from prior research that true covered short positions do not need to be closed during a change because the short position simply transfers to the new cust. During the cust transition, however, any fit, IOU, or synthetic short position must be closed. Now, some incorrectly assert that the old shorts associated with the old QZIP number will be sent to the obligation warehouse to rot eternally. Now this is incorrect, as old shorts are only transferred to the obligation warehouse when a stock is chilled or has a similar EU3 trading suspension as MELP. Consequently, synthetic shorts must be covered on the conversion, reverse split, and QZIP change if they are not genuine covered shorts where they have actually located a share to borrow. However, I will also explain what the shorts will attempt to do to minimize any enormous price impact. So, let's say we need to close 2, 4, 6, 8, or 10 billion synthetic shorts on the same day as the conversion and reverse split. The shorts will initially end their positions during after-hours trading, when the price impact is minimal. In addition to closing the old shorts, new shorts will be created in the new AMC QZIP or new AMC security and they're going to do this in small batches of, say, a million shares at a time, going backwards and forwards repeatedly. They're going to buy a million shares to close out old short positions and then short a million new shares, close out a million old shorts and short a million new shorts repeatedly until all of their synthetics are transferred over as an illustration. They will close out a million old shorts, which could drive the price from $40 per share post-split to $45 per share. Then, they will short a million additional shares, bringing the price back down from 45 to 40. Moreover, they will do this repeatedly using keyboard hockeys, which are keyboard shortcuts, so that they could assign these hockeys to their B button to purchase 1 million shares and theirs button to sell 1 million shares short. Therefore, they only need to repeatedly tap BSB ants until all of their shorts are transferred and they will likely conduct these transactions in dark pools or privately over the counter. Consequently, none of this enormous volume actually reaches the stock exchange recordings. However, let's discuss the multitude of problems. These shorts will experience difficulty attempting to repurchase all of these old AMC shares and short new AMC shares. In addition, you can currently receive a guaranteed free share of Tesla, a $50 cash award, and up to 15 free shares, which you can use to purchase additional shares of AMC or GameStop. Or you can sign up for Moomoo using the link in the description below and make the required qualifying deposit. Signing up for Moomoo is quick and free. It only requires a one-time deposit, and it's a fantastic method to support my channel and me. Moomoo is also very user-friendly. They have an abundance of technical indicators and sophisticated charting tools, as well as their own trading platform for options. As soon as Cat Stroker is tweeted, there is a tremendous disparity between the bid and ask spread. Now, this actually connects to all of Dade Murphy's previous communications regarding the AMC order and balances. Consequently, 
we can see from the multiple screenshots posted by CATS. The current offer order is $170, while the current bid order is $3.69. Either you or I place that purchase order to acquire additional shares of APE. It is placed by shorts seeking to close out their short position at low prices, or by institutions seeking to purchase additional AMC shares. The issue, however, is that the current offer order, which represents the lowest sell order, is $170 per share. This is due to the fact that nobody is selling shares below $170. This reoccurring order imbalance is due to the fact that there are numerous buy orders waiting to be filled, but nobody is selling AMC shares on any exchanges to fulfill those buy orders. Until either Ken or Doug comes through with their magical liquidity variables to fill that order when there are no shares available, the order cannot be filled. Where will these shorts purchase millions upon millions of AMC shares in order to liquidate their prior short positions? If no one is selling, will Ken Gryphon and Doug Sifu use their magical liquidity fairy powers to fill all of those sell orders when there are no selling shares available, thereby transferring that massive synthetic short position from those old cues of numbers onto the books of Ken Gryphon at Citadel Securities and Doug Sifu at Virtu? Because it is obvious that these two market makers will need to fill all of the previously filled orders with actual shares, which they cannot locate because nobody is selling. Moreover, if the price of AMC begins to rise while the shorts are closing out their old cues of short positions, they will need to short more shares of the new AMC stock to push the price back down. E. They may end up transferring 4 billion old AMC shorts, but needing to short $6 billion of new AMC shares which obviously exacerbates their short position. This new Wibble policy addresses power outages, equipment or software malfunctions, pandemics and other health emergencies. They assert that we will make every effort to notify users of service interruptions in advance, but the Wibble bears no legal liability for any loss resulting from a service interruption, suspension or termination, which again is possibly just Wibble preparing to disable the buy button once again especially now that Robinhood has been found not to be at fault or liable for disabling the buy button. Remember that Webull is merely one of the brokers that employs Apex Clearing. Just another example of a broker who disabled the purchase button in 2021. If you have not already done so, I would switch to a broker that does not use Apex Clearing or Robinhood to clear transactions. Moomoo's transactions, for instance, are cleared via Foo2 and not Apex Clearing. Obviously, you are not required to sign up exclusively with Moomoo. Simply register with a broker that is not Webull Robinhood or any of the other brokers that use Apex Clearing. So please let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, gentlemen, be sure to ring the notification chime so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. A toast to you.